This is Twit. Well, we talk a lot about audio and mixing things here, and I, I get so many emails from everybody, and we're going to start really getting into this. And the first thing I want to do this week, and going to be very short, is we're going to teach you how to build a mixer. No, it's not some multi-channeled whatever. It's a four-channel line mixer. Now, understand, we're talking line level. What I use this for is the output of the transceivers, the receiver part, to mix all of those into one powered speaker. It works great. It's line level in, line out. So it, it's not anything you're going to plug a microphone into. This is line level. But also, if you have like a couple of different tape recorders or CD players and you want to put them into a, one input, this is your baby. It's very simple. Very simple. I have some... Uh, I have some slides, Victor, if you'll uh, run those by, let's do number one. You know, there's a good picture of, of the finished product. The second picture, when we bring that up, you will see the back of it. And it's, of course, one in and four out or four in and one out. It's, it goes either way. And the next picture will show you the inside of that. It's very simple. It's very simple. There's four potentiometers four resistors and four jacks. The next picture shows you the other side of it and uh, you'll see the heat shrink, uh, the, the, those yellow heat shrinks, that's the uh, resistors and we, we want those so uh, nothing gets shorted to ground or anything gets crazy if you're uh, adjusting one or the other, it doesn't affect them. And then the schematic and it's extremely simple. That is it. And uh, what, what I had what I really encourage you to do if you if you've never built anything or if you've built a lot of things, just do it. Go out and get the pieces and parts. And coming back to me, here is the parts. It's this box. And of course, put this all down here. All the parts that didn't fall on the floor <laughs> are in it. You can go to Mauser. Uh, I like to buy my stuff from Gateway Electronics. Uh, Lisa's got all kinds of stuff. You can buy aluminum boxes like this, and then you get yourself the nice little jacks. She's got the quarter-inch panel jacks. You need four potentiometers, 10K. You want to get 10Ks, and then you need four resistors of 2.2K. And you saw the... Uh, uh, the diagram of that. So that's real simple. And uh, here is the parts list. And I'm going to hold this up and you can freeze frame this uh, later on from the replay. And uh, there's your parts list. And it's, it's such a simple project, but it's very usable. I use this thing. Uh, this mixer, by the way, is right at uh, 35 to 38 years old. And there's not a week goes by that I don't need this mixer. And there's all the parts you need for it. No, I don't use it for microphones, or we'll get into that later. But this is a very simple project. And, and, and the reason I want to do some of these is I want to prove to you that you can do this. If you've never soldered, if you've never drilled a chassis, now's the time to start. Because this is real simple stuff. You're not going to uh, blow anything up or any of that kind of stuff. And it, it's it's a very simple project. And that's what we're trying to do here on Ham Nation is uh, we we have project as George takes you into some of the the great things that are out there uh, with the with the surface mount and all of that. But we also have things that I don't want anybody to get scared. And I have to tell you, this was one of the first products that Heil Sound built, believe it or not. And we sold a lot of them. Because back in the late 60s, actually this was 67, 68, this was a, a miracle box. Because you could plug things together and not worry about it. And you had level controls for each one of them. And there you could take your different receiver outputs, the speaker out of your receivers, plug them into here. That's the speaker out of the transceiver. And then the bottom one would be the final mix. And you just dial up 
which one you want. Then you take that output into a powered speaker like the JBL Control P. I talk about it a lot. It's just, it's just awful. It's terrible that everybody doesn't own one of those. It's just amazing because they're only about 150 bucks for a pair of them. They got two 35 watt amplifiers in them, and and you want to get into that. And we'll get into that later. But I just wanted to pass this along. I want you to get involved in some of this. We're going to do some more as we get into these these kind of sessions and. Uh, Take some time here on Ham Nation to help you learn how to do some of this stuff. And you go from here, and then you could advance up to uh, smoking cider with George. <laughs>